Nexa Music, truly inspiring. Guys, all of you have had such an amazing year with Nexa Music Season 1. I want to know from each one of you what your most memorable milestones have been. I think being on the cover of Rolling Stone India, that was amazing. And to have that copy in our hands and to like flip through the glossy pages and then see a big picture of us, that was a big moment. So honestly, the whole manifesting thing, I swear the Rolling Stone cover and meeting AR was two things that I literally was hoping would happen. And yeah, next, next I made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> but like for real, like those were two crazy moments. Getting to collaborate with AR so having a song with him, a music video, getting to hang out with him, it was just like very inspiring to learn from him as well. Tell me what is the mood in the band right now? Yeah, so we're just excited and we, I mean, back here in Bombay, meeting yeah. AR sir, Clinton sir and all these people again. So yeah, very upbeat mood about the band today. It gives us like flashbacks of like season one, you know, uh, doing the photo shoot and, you know, having an opportunity to like be with all these amazing musicians. And yeah. we never imagined that the kind of music that we play would be recognized by people like Clinton sir and a AR sir and, you know, and to have the opportunity to work with these legends of the music industry for the kind of music that, you know, would not typically be classified as like, you know, pop music. We, we, we play between genres and stuff to be recognized by them and to have them mentor us and work with us to make the song into the the final product was yeah. was quite an amazing experience yeah so what are the biggest insights and learnings you know that you got when you uh, were part of nexa music season one it was a lot of fun working with uh, clinton sir and bianca and to see how they work on melodies because all the super winners got their own fresh song made with Shore Police. So we did ours, ours was different kind of love. The way they produced and made the melodies and how we came up with the lyrics and tried to fit it into their melody, which is sort of like the way people do it in the West. It's a formula for a hit. Sitting in a room with them, ideating and creating something from scratch, you know, it was just like, it was so much fun, like just being in the same room with them and making something really good. What struck me most was how welcoming and warm Clinton sir, Bianca and even AR sir were, how open they were to like artists stepping into their space and just doing their thing. And it just made me feel really like good and mm -hmm. like respected as even though I'm so small compared to AR sir and all, he just has this respect for everybody around him, yeah, you know, yeah. it was really beautiful. Did you guys imagine that you will go on to collaborate with AR Rahman sir and get to witness this beautiful journey of Nexa music? Having an indie band in Ahmedabad itself is like a big thing, yeah. you know, there are very few people in making original. English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English. Yeah. Yeah. Playing the kind of music. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So like, we've, I think one of the only few bands I can think of in Gujarat who making original music like this and getting selected for Nexa, you know, like Nexa music, that is like a big deal. It was a very validating experience because we've been all been doing music in some capacity, you know, <laughs> as commercial musicians or whatever. But it was with this Nexa thing when, you know, A.R. Rahman sir's name and Clinton Sarah's name suddenly appeared with us and I was in, I've been in a video, we were in a video with them. All the, our family members and friends, suddenly yeah. they took, took notice that, yeah, we've been doing music, but now they're like, oh, so you've been doing music like that. <laughs> yeah. So apart from, you know, just the professional and career aspects that this has provided, just on a very personal level, I think it has, you know, validated what we've chosen to do in life in front of all our parents and all our relatives and friends. So that's been a very positive outcome of this entire journey for all of us, I think. We just recently played a show in Ahmedabad at, at SEP University. And we said that, you know, we're one of those bands that got selected for the Nexa music thing. And, you know, the crowd erupted as well. They were also like, oh my God, that's yeah. so amazing so th there's a sense of pride also yeah. you know that we also feel that we got selected from a, a city which is not 
you know, typically yeah, recognize it. Yeah, it's not a, I mean, it's not a indie hub of India, you know. As collaborators, as sisters and musicians and performers, you all are always working together. There's always continuous exchange of energies and creativity. And then comes Nexa Music and there is this catalyst from outside that injects this new sense of energy and creativity. How was it like individually for you guys and also as a duo? <laughs> <laughs> Since we've been doing this for a long time just um, we've understood our own dynamic and we've gotten comfortable with that when we are thrown into a room with other artists it's always pushed us out of our comfort zone and led us to think in ways that we wouldn't have usually with just the two of us it's definitely made us come out come out of our comfort zone rather than you know we know how we work and we have a certain way of writing songs and just getting out of that it's just definitely a different world completely just to work with other people and see how they create songs so that was quite fun also are there any memorable experiences that you remember from just the process of working with clinton bianca ar sir and at the shoot anything that stands out for each one of you to rolling stone wala jab photo shoot tha to main yahan baitha tha aur ar sir aaye aur unhone mera haath pakad ke step liya tha <laughs> तो वो मेरे लिए बहुत है और मैं ऐसे ऐसे Man, I don't know if I can top that though. <laughs> But I think for for me it was working with Clinton so we'd gone to his studio and you know working on the song when we were selected for the top 24 the track called Volition. I remember like yeah I mean we've heard you know Clinton sir and his music and stuff but we really saw like the master in action with how just how proficient he was on the keyboard and he recognized that there was one note off in the violin solo mm. that we had already recorded and sent it to him he was like mm, something sounds off over then he immediately spotted it and that was just like okay that's what it takes to reach you know that level that level of expertise and you were also yeah. so appreciative of yeah. our music which yeah. was amazing oh, yeah. felt so good he kept on saying that you know i really wanted you guys i really yeah. like your music so that was a that was a big sort of mm. moment for me as well yeah um i think for me apart from these two experiences obviously uh, i think the video shoot that we did for the top 24 um songs uh, so that was a great experience because like i think it was the first time we were stepping into like such a big yeah, production, production house yeah, that's thing right. and um, you know getting to experience all that like putting makeup on our faces <laughs> and like in front of 10 15 cameras and all these big things you know that that was like a great experience and right after that um, shoot like we went to the vanity van and rubina i think she like uh, you know told us that okay so you guys are in the top 4 like that was like yeah. a crazy day you know like we didn't really believe it initially <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that was insane <laughs> for me i think uh, when i was in the recording sessions for you got me so i mean rehman sir was coming out in and out of the studio so we were just you know sort of going around w- w- looking at him after the whole thing late at night he called us over to his apartment and we were just sitting and talking with him and you know sipping tea and there was this one moment where he was just asking everybody acha what are you listening to these days so every one of us would just just name a song and he would just play it on youtube there and then and we just all sit and listen to our music together and then sir would comment on what he liked about it and how he saw that in the music we made so that was just such a magical experience for me to be sitting there with the biggest music composer in india and just listening to the music i love with him and talking about music and why we do it it was such an intimate friendly yeah. moment symmetry i really want to know from you what your hopes and dreams are with season 2 and uh, where would you like everybody's journeys to progress towards it's just been really interesting to see how season 2 is much bigger than season 1 it's it's going worldwide and international publishing and all of that i'm really looking forward to see how it plays out for all these artists and knowing that we were in that place once wondering whether we should send in our entries all the nerves that go through that so it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out so yeah i think i think the pandemic showed us so much independent music power through the country artists who are just being able to sit at home put out music and i think a lot of these artists will come together and will show themselves uh, in this season as well and i'm really excited to see those artists who are like you know they make all the music themselves their producers their singers they just do everything on their own so i think a lot of those artists are also going to 
come out and it'll be really fun to watch that it's really ni- interesting to see cuz we <coughs> were like we were the winners of season 1 right so when we took part it was completely fresh like we hadn't done it before so now to get to meet the season 2 winners at some point and then being like oh we had you guys to look at you know we saw season 1 and now that's that's why we're here now we got to watch you all grow and learn from you all so it'll be really fun to actually get to meet them and have that discussion it'll be a really interesting conversation and we're really excited to see how this season turns out because like i said when we first entered this competition we did so with no expectations and we just sort of put an entry out there and then one year in so much has changed so many new experience were there for us really excited to see how this grows into something new and even bigger and better so yeah i think the world would be just excited overall to see what's going to happen I, i think you know because we're going from season 1 to season 2 like i really like to see the evolution of what happens with this brand and with this community and team the people who are heading this and the people who are working this are so passionate about the music that it just makes sense that we really do want to see how it evolves you know in the future as well yeah it's like more power mm-hmm. to everybody mm-hmm. keep making the awesome music <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you.